hello guys so uh, in this video we are going to see uh, how you can log in your angular application with firebase and uh, with uh, google logged in so in the uh, right now i have this ui and this login email and password and these three button are uh, just dummy we are not going to use it and this is the button which we are going to work on this video and right now if i click on this all i'll get is just console.log.gmail login all right so I have one uh, uh, Angular project which has uh, the component.html and inside that I have all the UI and this is what we are going to work on, log in with Google and same thing if you come back to TS file, I have this function called log in with Gmail. Right now I don't have anything, all it will do is log in, uh, console uh, Gmail login with it. All right. So now before that first we have to connect our application with Firebase. Now to connect with Firebase, I'm going to open Firebase over here. This is Firebase and if you go to this documentation, you will see first get started with Firebase and click on the web. There you will see all the documentation, alright. So uh, first we need to install this one. Actually you can use this one but uh, you can just go with this one, yeah, you don't have to need. Uh, we can uh, this init we can use to deploy our application, but we are not going to deploy first. Uh, you just install this uh, npm. So I'll install this. All right. So for that, let me just first close this app, and I'm going to paste it and run the npm. All right. So after that, we have to import all this thing. Okay. Now before that, first we have to create project in uh, Firebase as well. So to create Firebase project. I'm, uh, you can click click on create add project but since I already have a bunch of uh, application I'm not going to create instead I'll select existing one and I'm going to add this new app over here it's same uh, there's no different uh, compared to this one you can go with this add project directly as well all right so I'll just go and click on it and this will be web click on web and app name will be I'm just gonna give it demo name all right and this hosting, since I'm not going to host, if you want to host your Angular project in Firebase, you can check on that. But I'm not going to host, so just register the app and it will take time. And this is also taking some time to install uh, Firebase. Alright, so this is done. I think Firebase SDK is done. So as you can see, this is what we need, alright. But uh, first what I'll do, I'll just continue the console. And if you click on this demo app you will see now you go to setting and this is the setting for our application all right and yeah so this is the configuration we need but we will discuss this in a minute now come back to documentation we are we have installed I think, yeah we have installed this already now what i'll do i'll just first run the app so that we don't have to wait later so I'll run the app, alright, ng serve. And now if you come down here, as you can see we have to import this if you want to use it here. So if you want to use authentication and if you want to Firebase or all, you can uh, import like this, alright. But I'll just import this first one and, okay, so this one uh, where I'll import, I'll import inside environment.ts uh, which I'll explain after some time, sorry. Uh, Okay, let me just close this. And this is production. Yeah, you can uh, import it over here. So what I'll do, I'll import this first. As you can see, I have imported. And now, what we can do is, you have to define this configuration, and you have to pass this configuration. This configuration is nothing. The configuration which we got here. So I'll just copy this whole thing. All right. I copy it and paste it right below here. Okay, and now I'm going to export this. I'm not going to use it here. I'll use it somewhere else. So here I just defined it. Okay, later if you have to change, you just have to change this file. That's all. All right. So we did this already, and now if you come back here, as you can see, we have to initialize it. So you just copy this whole code, and now this I'm going to use inside main ts file. So main .ts, you can come here, and just below this you can import it here. Firebase. Now you will get this error because we uh, don't we didn't define what is the firebase and if you come back here actually here we don't have to import this inside environmental uh, environment ts instead you have to import inside main here 
okay as you can see error is gone but we are getting error here because this is uh, not defined so you can fix it because we already defined this in fire uh, environment.ts so if you come back here this one is the one all right so this is how you define firebase in your angular application without any third part, third party library or anything like that all right so i'm just going to save it save it all and right now if you check ui there's nothing new in the ui all right just empty only and now let me just close this first and uh, there's no error in the uh, this thing uh, console so which means it's good okay so now if you come back to documentation mm, there's nothing much these are all how you can deploy firebase application in uh, firebase all right so we don't want to do anything like that now we'll go to how we can integrate with the uh, logged in with the gmail so you come back to authentication which is over here and go back uh, come inside a uh, web and we are going to sign in google sign in over here all right so google sign in this is google sign in and as you can see we have to define all this part we'll go one by one and first the first one is if, now remember make sure first you have to connect your uh, java uh, this project angular project to firebase which we connected just now through this all right we already have connect uh, code for this and you have to enable uh, google sign in which actually i already did before so how you can enable this is uh, come back to your project this is login project come inside authentication uh, sorry this actually i tested before that's why you can delete this for now and if you come here you will see this google okay you have to enable this first before you you know uh, write code and all only then it will work okay so this is done and now if you come back to this this first part is done and second is also done now you can you are going to handle this sdk part so first what we have to do we have to get this provider okay instantly a provider object so i'm just going to copy this and paste it inside now you can close this environment main also you can close environment also closed now here we can handle this okay first what i do when you uh, call this ng on in it i'll just define this provider now you'll get this firebase error and this is same as how we import in uh, main.ts which is over here as you can see import star as firebase this one only you can copy it and sorry uh, this one we are not using it so paste it here all right so this time we don't need app just firebase okay so we didn't get that and now we have provider also we got this firebase google auth provider also okay now if you come back to this thing uh, second step this is these are optional we you don't need to define this actually you can add scope also read only right only all, all this stuff all right we don't need both are about two three and fourth point and the fifth point we need now we have to uh, display the firebase uh, google uh, pop-up gmail logged in so to do this we have write this code so what you can either write or uh, it seems it, it is already here you can just copy it and paste it here so when you can paste it so the moment you called uh, clicked on the google logged in there is login with gmail inside that function you can paste it here so instead of console uh, now i'm going to paste whole code here and you will get this error this provider as you can see this provider is a local variable so what i'll do i'll define new provider here so provider okay it is a type of sorry uh, it is type of any and now here what you can do is one it is defined then you can give this dot provider equal to that provider okay and this will become now this and this ss token uh, this error you will get because uh, angular doesn't know whether this is a uh, like ss token is there inside yourself so to fix this uh, since we are not going to use this you can delete it but if you want to fix this issue you can define a new variable like uh, let a, I'm just giving an example and let a you can give and a actually a of type any a of type any you can give then a equal to uh, result credential all right then close this then instead of this instead of result credential you can give a this will solve the problem all right to get the token this token we can use to you know call api and all that stuff but we are not going to use it you can delete this part actually all this all we bother is that logged in uh, user so this is handling error if you get any error you can handle all this stuff over here okay so we are not going to bother about that error part the moment you logged in and uh, 
locked and successful you'll get this user so what i'll do i'll lock all right so user actually you can just uh, click on user you will see all the function inside there all right so this is done so you can save this part and in the documentation do we have anything left no this part i think that might be fine so now if i if we come back to inspect and console let's see what is happening i'll click on the login with gmail as you can see we see the pop-up for gmail login and it will take some time to display your gmail account and then there you go we got the gmail so if i click on my first uh, account which is called contra something like that and as you can see we got a bunch of detail here okay so these are the user details so if you want to get email just write user.email over here so what i'll do i just need the email so user.email and if it is already logged in you will get this okay we have to log in first sorry i clicked on login again and first user and if you come back to log uh, check console as you can see this is the email all right so uh, I think uh, in the next video, uh, short video, I'll discuss you know how you can uh, logged out, implement logged out, and check user whether user is logged in or logged uh, already logged out. Okay, that we'll discuss in the next one. Thank you guys.